best book ever how to marry keanu reeves in 90 days like please sign me up for this hello everyone and welcome today i'm going to be sharing with you the books that i want to read this year in 2023 last year i only read 14 books out of the 20 books that i wanted to read was almost there this year i have my goodreads goal at 20 books again and i hope to reach that goal this year hopefully with this list of books that i have compiled that i'm going to be sharing with you i will get around to that reading goal of 20 books or more hopefully more that be amazing. Most of the books on this list I have are books that I've been wanting to read forever that have just sat on my shelf and need to get read basically. Some of them I even read the first page and then put it down and got distracted by another book or just didn't feel like reading it that day. Others are ones that I've been wanting to read forever and I say every year that I'm gonna read them and I don't read them. This year is the year that I'm gonna read these books. Hopefully. I hope so. I need to read them. I even made a list of all the books that I was just browsing through my shelves and I'm like, okay, that one, that one, that one I need to read. And I got... I picked 50 books and out of those 50 books, I narrowed it down to the ones that I really, really wanted to read. 38 of them on this list I need to get to reading. So without further ado, let's get on to the books that are in my list. <laughs> the first book that I want to read this year is Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuki. Pal I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I've never watched the movie or read the book, but I know what happens, the like plot twist. I'm excited to see how that is in the book and what happens because of it and why that is something that happens and comes up. It's very short. I hope to get to it soon. The next book I have on my list is Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This book I wanted to read last fall. I didn't get around to reading it. I still have my bookmark in the first page of it. really want to read it. I really want to read more stuff by Dostoevsky. It was translated from Russian to English. I don't think I've read a book that's been translated from a different language to English, so this will be fun to read. It's also a murder story told by the murderer's point of view, which is very interesting, and I'm excited to see how that plays out. The next book that I want to read is a reread. I read this in high school, and that is Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I remember the story, but I just want to reread it to see if I would enjoy this now or if I don't. <laughs> it's funny because for school I literally tabbed this entire thing all the way up. I finally took them out like a few years ago because I was like you know what I don't need these. It was just moments that I thought would be important. I don't even know if it was an essay I had to write or it was for a test or something but I was like oh that looks important that looks important but it, it was just tabbed full of stuff. just thought that that was funny because I like over tabbed the book for no reason. The next book on my list is The State of Wonder by Anne Patchett. This has been on my shelf forever. I remember buying this from Target years and years and years ago. I never started reading this book at all. Not even like looking at the front page and everything. It does have deckled edges though, which I love deckled edges. Not The State of Wonder. Interesting title. want to read this because I'm interested to see what this is about. The next book that I want to read is how to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days by K.M. Jackson. This just seems like such a fun book to read. Like if you like watching Keanu Reeves movies and you like Keanu Reeves, this is like the like best book ever. How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days. Like please sign me up for this. Seems like a fun, cute read. And I was like looking through the pages. Chris Evans makes an appearance in this book and so does Michael B. Jordan. So it's gonna be interesting how things play out in this. I think it's so cool because the little chapters in the books are stuff based off of like Keanu Reeves, his movie titles or like stuff to do with him and everything. So I thought that was really fun little like touch and everything. So I'm really excited to get around to reading this. I don't typically read romance, so this is an exception because of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Next book that I want to read, I say I want to read every year or try to get around to reading it every year and I never do. So hopefully this year I will actually read this. That is <laughs> The Nutcracker by Alexander Dumas. This is translated from French, which I never knew that. And it's written by the same guy that wrote Three Musketeers and The Count of Monte Cristo. Interesting. <laughs> I'm really excited to read this. I love The Nutcracker. I love Barbie and The Nutcracker. I just, I love the music, the ballet. Oh. The Dance of Sugar Plum Fairies, 
my favorite ever. I love that ballet number. So I really want to read this to see the story. I always want to read this in December. I don't even know if I'm going to read it in December or I'll just read it whenever because it seems like every time I try to read certain books that are for certain type of like seasons, I never get around to reading them because then I don't feel like in the mood during that time or I get busy and do other stuff. I don't know if I'll read it during Christmas, but we shall see. Next, I want to read a book by Charles Dickens. I have three books by Charles Dickens. I have A Tale of Two Cities, David Copperfield, and then Great Expectations. I really want to read Great Expectations because I watched the black and white movie. I don't know when that came out, but the black and white movie in eighth grade during English class. We didn't even read the book that year, but we just watched it like towards the end of the year, and I was very intrigued by the story. That's why I bought Great Expectations because of that movie. I will probably be getting around to reading Great Expectations, but I just want to read any of the books that I have by Charles Dickens. The next book is a book that I am currently reading that is Live by Sadie Robertson. I started reading this beginning of this year, wanted to get around to reading it. I have her other book, Live Fearless, I think it is. I haven't read that one, and basically the, the pink, I love that pink, is what drew me to read this first before the other one, because the other one's like a, a turquoise-ish, like, blue, but this one's just so, like, the pink is just so soothing, and I really like the color, so I wanted <laughs> to pick this one up first. So far, I've been loving it, and it's been really good. I'm probably going to be finishing this soon. I'm on page 71. So hopefully I'll finish this soon and then I will have two books finished this year already because I did read Crossing. Finally read that book. That is the first book I read this year. Hopefully this one will be second or, or a different book. I don't know. The next two I have are Shakespeare plays. Those two are Hamlet and Othello. I've had Hamlet since high school because I had to read it for class. I got like halfway through the book. I actually want to read this and see if those <laughs> little tabs that I have there are for important reasons or if I just liked the line that was said. I recently watched the movie the Ophelia with Daisy Ridley as Ophelia. I loved it and it's based off of Hamlet so I'm like okay if the movie is that good I want to get around to reading the play. Maybe I'll actually like this. And then Othello, I really want to read this. I don't know too much about this play but I'm excited to read it. The next two are books that I started reading last year and I did not finish them and I want to finish them this year. The first one is just a Nancy Drew book. This one is the 25th book in the series, The Ghost of Blackwood Hall by Carolyn Keene. I just want to finish a Nancy Drew book. I used to read these all the time throughout elementary school and I have three box sets of them and I want to actually finish one. I can see if I actually still like them. I mean they're fun mystery stories so yes I do but I started reading it. I didn't get that far into it. I just want to finish a Nancy Drew book. The next book that I want to finish is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I started reading this last year. Didn't get finished with it. Another book that I thought I was going to read in the fall but didn't. I hope to finish this soon this month so I will finish this. <laughs> next is basically another one of those I just want to read all of these or any of them and that is my Agatha Christie collection that is right here. You can't see it in really. I have gotten like that whole collection from like a secondhand sale that one of the churches in my town was doing and they had like every single Agatha Christie book there so like somebody was getting rid of their whole collection so I acquired all of the collection and I have never read any of those books from that collection that I got and I finally want to read one this year. I read and then there were none again. I read it for English class in eighth grade but I reread it a few years ago. Loved it. I still have not touched the collection of books that I have. I want to get around to reading at least one of those books this year. I don't know which one. If you have any Agatha Christie books that you have read that you really really love, please leave a comment down below so that I can get around to figuring out which one to read first. <laughs> Cause that is a whole dilemma in of of itself. There's a few book series that I want to finish reading this year or get around to reading. One of them being the Percy Jackson series. Back when I started getting into reading again, I read The Lightning Thief, The Sea Monsters, Titan's Curse, and I started reading The Battle of the Labyrinth and I stopped reading it. I was on a roll and then I just quit because I got probably distracted by another book. I was so mad at myself because I was almost done and that book and then The Last Olympian, and then I would have been done. I would have figured out what happened at the end, but no, I stopped. And those books were so fun. Basically, I want to get around to reading those all this year, but I want to start from the beginning because a lot of the stuff from the first one and, like, the other ones I forgot, like, the third one, there's no movie. I re-watched the Lightning Thief and Sea Monsters movies recently. I like those movies, okay? They are not the best movies, but I, I like them. I enjoy watching them. So it made me want to reread the books even more because there's so much stuff in the books that was left out of the movies. So I want to start reading those from book one to book five. 
I'm going to do it this time. That's something that I want to get around to really, really fast. So hopefully I'll start that this month and then finish them next month all the way. It's February, so maybe April. I'll finish them all by. Hopefully I will. And just in time before the new season comes out, that looks like it's going to be really, really good. I'm excited for that. The next book I want to read is a book that I've had since I was 10. Never read it. I declare that it's my least favorite book ever. I've never read it though. So... This year, I actually want to get around to reading it to see if it is my least favorite book. That is Every Soul Star by Wendy Mass. This book, I try to read first chapter. This follows three characters. It goes in between those characters. I try to read the first chapter of every character. I didn't, and I think that's why I say it's my least favorite book, because I can never actually finish reading it. So we'll see if this year I can read this and see if it is actually my least favorite book. This next one is also a book that I've had since I was around 10 years old. The Girl Who Could Fly by Victoria Forrester. This book I bought because there's a little blurb at the bottom and it says, It's the oldest slash sweetest mix of Little House on the Prairie and X-Men. I was smiling the whole time, except for the part where I cried. Prepare to have your heart warmed. Stephanie Meyer, author of The Twilight Saga. Because Stephanie Meyer had a, like a little, a little blurb at the bottom, I bought this. And also I thought it was interesting because like, oh, the girl who fly. That seems like a fun story. And X-Men, I love the X-Men. That, that sold me right there. I have halfway read it. I remember there was a giant like, butterfly, dragonfly. I think it was a dragonfly. That's the last part I remember. I really want to get around to actually reading this this year and finishing it. So I will be starting it from the beginning because I remember some things, but not everything. I just want to finally read this because I think it will be like one of my favorite books. The next book I want to read is a sequel to, I think there's three in the series, Seraphina and the Twisted Staff by Robert Beatty. The first book I read in a week and that was like a shock to me because I never read a book within a week ever before. So that was like when I, it was 2016 I want to say, it was 2016 when I read the first one. I read it in a week which is a big accomplishment to me so I want to read the second book in the series. It's not that big. I'm gonna be holding myself up to high expectations to also be reading this one in a week but I don't know if that is going to be the case. Next I want to read is a series and I never knew that this was a series. I read this book when I was 12 and I absolutely loved it. It's the only book that I literally stayed up the night before I had to go to school and give it back to the library. I stayed up and finished reading it and I was just like blown away the entire time. And that is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Leingel. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I recently found out a few years ago that it is a five book series, not just a standalone book. So I really want to reread A Wrinkle in Time this year and then get around to reading the entire series of that because I want to know what happens to the rest of the family. And it like showed like there's like a little family tree where it like keeps going with each of the characters. So I thought that was interesting. And I want to see what happens and where the story goes because some of the chapters in there looked really interesting. And I do love the fact that the chapters are, it's like the Percy Jackson where they actually have titles of what the chapter is so you get an idea of what's going to happen. And some of those chapters that I was looking at in the other books were like crazy and weird and fun. The next book is also another book that I read for school that I read halfway and that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I have reread this book about three times. The farthest that I made it to actually reading it all the way through is where she goes with her aunt and uncle. They go fishing or whatever and then they go to Mr. Darcy's house and she just knows it's Mr. Darcy's house. That's as far as I got into in this book. I want to actually finish and consume the entire thing. I am making it a priority to get to this this year and am I going to reread it from beginning to end again? Yes. Yes, I am. Another book by Jane Austen that I want to read is, in this gigantic Jane Austen and her seven novels book that I have, and the book in here that I want to read and get around to reading is Emma. I hear everybody always say that Emma is one of their favorite Jane Austen books. never read it. I watched the one with Gwyneth Paltrow though, the movie. Clueless is a modern adaptation to the book Emma. I love Clueless, so I think I like Emma reading it and everything, so I just want to get around to reading Pride and Prejudice and then another Jane Austen novel. Another book that everybody seems to love or hate, um, I think, is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte and I've never read this book. I know a little about 
details about it but not too much so I just want to get around to reading this and then I can say I've read one of the Bronte sisters works. I also have Jane Eyre and I never read that and that one's by Charlotte Bronte. Never read that one either. Maybe I'll get around to reading both of their works. I don't know. The next book is one that I recently got last year and that is The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. It's a murder mystery. It seems like it's gonna be a fun read. The next two books that I want to get around to reading this year, they are two books that I always say that I'm gonna read every single year since I bought them, probably in 2014. It's been almost 10 years. Oh my gosh, wow, okay. Um. <laughs> I definitely need to read those this year. It's Dracula by Bram Stoker and Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Never read them ever. I keep on wanting to read them every year for the fall around October. Didn't get around to reading them last year. Like I said I was going to. I never do and I think I just need to start reading them. I don't know if I'm gonna read them during the fall because that's doesn't seem to work with me. I do want to read them so I think whenever I get in the mood to read them I'm just gonna read it. No matter what time of the year it is, I'm just gonna read it. Another book I want to read this year is The Prestige by Christopher Priest. Priest? Is it Priest? Priest? I don't know which one it is. This is the book that's based off of the Prestige movie by Christopher Nolan. I love that movie. It's so interesting and the plot twist. Wow. And I love the magic element and aspect to it. I did not know it was a book, so when I found out that it was a book, I bought it and I started reading it. I got to page 50. I stopped reading it. I want to finish this this year to see how it is in comparison to the movie. Next book is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I started reading this and the concept of like switching between there's a gray London, red London, and black London. This reminds me a little bit like a Howl's Moving Castle where he takes his castle he can switch the like little portal things and then you step through a different world that's what this like type of story reminds me of so i'm interested to see how going through the different londons works and why those are set there and the whole deal around those the next three books are death of a salesman by arthur miller lady windermere's fan and the importance of being earnest both by oscar wilde and the stranger by albert camus they're super short little classic stories two of them are plays the death of a salesman and the oscar wilde ones those are both plays but the stranger is a novel and it was translated from french the next book that I want to read is in a series and also another book that I am currently reading and that is Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. I have my little Edward bookmark in there if he's gonna focus. There is. I'll link it down below where I got it from. I read Twilight back in 2014 I think or 2015, one of those years. And then I recently read New Moon in 2021. I am just now getting around to reading Eclipse. I hope to finish it this year. My battery is dying. And I hope to finish it this year. I think by the pace that I'm going, I'm going to finish it either this month or next month. I don't know if I'm going to read Breaking Dawn this year or not. We will see. Next book I want to read is the last book in a series, and that is By Dark Fates by Kendar Blake. This series is one of my absolute favorites. I absolutely love the story. I can't wait to get around to reading this. this will probably be one that I will start on very very soon because I am very excited to finish it but also sad because then the series will be over and I'm also scared to see who lives and who dies because somebody always dies at the end of these books so next book is a book that is one of my favorite movies of all time Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien I love these movies that these books are based off of. They are my favorite movies of all time. I've never read the books. I've finished reading The Hobbit a few years ago, finally, and it will be interesting to see if I like these more than the movies. The next book is also finishing a series that I haven't finished yet, that being Restore Me by Tahara Mafi. I actually have not finished Ignite Me. I know, I know, I haven't finished that. I spoiled myself at what happens and then I just stopped, but I need to reread that book and finish that before I start reading this. And I know this book gets like really crazy and weird and you're like, what? 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 I'm interested to see what happens in this, but I do need to finish Ignite Me and then I want to finish continuing this series all the way up to the other two books. The next book that I want to read, I started reading it when I bought it, but I like stopped. I read like the first few pages and then I stopped. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica is it Johnson. Is that how you pronounce it? Johnson. This is a fantasy series. I don't know if it's a series. It's a fantasy novel. I was intrigued to read it. I love fantasy so I want to read this. The next book is A Chess Garden by Brooks Hansen. This one I have absolutely no clue what it's about. It reminded me of Crossings by Alex Landrigan. I hope that I 
like this and it seems just very random and interesting and strange and like a puzzle kind of kind of like how crossings is where it just like kind of plays with your mind the premise i want to see what this is about and if it's what i think it is next one is these violent delights by chloe gong this is a retelling of romeo and juliet but it is in the 1920s in shanghai from that alone it made me want to read it this has been on my shelf for a while and i just haven't got around to reading it yet this next one i got from the library and i started reading it and it piqued my interest so much that i had to buy it for myself i can't just keep checking it out from the library because one it's uh, 600 pages long or more and i'm like that's I'm gonna be with that book for a while so I figured why not just buy it. That is A Peculiar Peril by Jeff Vandermeer. This book is like the weirdest thing ever and I'm very interested to see what happens and where the story goes and it just seems like such a fun crazy ride so I can't wait to read it. I got to page 30 so I have a long ways to go. <laughs> the next one is also a fantasy book that I want to read. That is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I started reading this a long time ago when I like first bought it. Again like the Queen of the Tierling one. got to page 50 and it was kind of when like the story just started kicking off into like the direction that it goes throughout the entire thing and I stopped reading it so I want to finish reading this a lot of people like it a lot of people don't so I want to see if I'm one of those people that likes it or not the next book I'm not sure if it's fancy but I think it's historical fiction I'm not actually entirely sure what this is technically that is the gilded wolves by roshani chotsky this book it piqued my interest because wolves okay and then it has to do with like ancient egypt and then paris so those two things alone like i was like okay I'm reading this. I'm sold. I have no idea what this book is about except for Paris and Egypt. So I'm sold on that and wolves. I don't know if wolves have anything to do with it. Maybe they do. I don't know. Okay. And lastly, before my camera battery dies on me, I want to read some stories out of this classic tales of horror book that I have. It's huge. It has different stories from different periods in time. I think the oldest one in here. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The oldest one in here is from 1819 and then it goes from like 1930 maybe my camera battery did in fact die but yeah the earliest is not 1819 and then around 1930s there are some stories in here like from edgar Allan poe that's really all i remember <laughs> i love horror stories and i actually want to read something in this book because I have not read a single one in here and I've had it forever so I want to finally get around to reading some of these stories in here they're a bunch of short stories and I want to see which one of these is like my favorite or which one I'm like okay that's really weird and like I said again I'm not gonna wait around till October or September or November comes around to read any of these whenever I feel in the mood for something spooky I'm gonna pick this up and browse through it and see which one which story piques my interest at that moment in time and with that those are the 38 books that I want to read this year. Hopefully I get around to all of them. That would be absolutely lovely. And all the series as well that I said I want to finish reading and start reading. Like I said, I have a good reads goal of 20 books this year. I hope to get around to actually accomplishing that for once. I will be so happy when the bar is full and it says completed. Right now I've only read one book, so one book down, 19 to go. <laughs> I'd love to know down in the comments below what is a book or a few books that you'd love to get around to reading this year. Do you want me to do a reading vlog on any of these books to know my thoughts throughout the entire book? Please let me know and I will do those. I do have a few books that I put on this list that I will be doing a reading vlog on, so stick around for that. Those will be fun and some that I didn't mention on here that I will be doing as well. Also let me know what your Goodreads goal is or what your goal for reading books in general this year is. See if you are a lot more ambitious than I am probably you know if we just read one book that is gonna be amazing and great and at least we're reading and we're working our brains that is it for this video I hope you all have a wonderful day thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in a new video soon bye I did it almost at 2022 book that I want to finish is okay good this is recording this list of books hopefully with this but I'm not sure. This is that's what Yeah. This series is this series I was excited when I got it. Most of the books Let's get on into those books. I in
they why am I looking at the back oh man that fell this is a book I'm probably gonna this is a book reread it to see if like um, and then the next one and then the other book that I want and then next book and I never have a love that sound is in the book. It made me want to reread the movie. Reread the movies. Also, I think it's such cool because I... Yeah. And I want to get around and I want to read this. So. Serafina and the Twisted Staff. Yep, I got it right. And yeah. Oh, well, like I said, like, no, it was a movie and... The Red Queen, not the... I was gonna say in 12th grade. I was 12. I hope to get around to reading one of those year, this year. There's three diff... There's three different... Oh. I did not stop that. I always hear everybody say that that is their favorite. I read... Is a modern ad adaptation. The importance of being... My mind just went. My ribbon fell out of my hair completely. I almost forgot to do a thumbnail, so I'm gonna do that. They're actually falling. Okay, we're done. Oh, yeah, that should be the thumbnail.